the drama is about to get extremely dirty. I'm not too sure if you're ready for it. Especially if you're a fan of Lazar Beam and Logan Paul. Logan Paul doesn't need any introduction. How could he still be a fan after all the CryptoZoo shenanigans? But again, that's your personal choice, all right? I want to tell you what exactly I'm going to discuss and show you, all right? So first of all, I came across this video earlier today. It was posted about a week ago. Got about 1 million views. And Lazar Beam, as soon as I saw the title, not only that, Lazar Beam, Logan Paul, call out Mr. Beast for stealing. Three names here, and that's a bold claim. Bold statement, calling out Mr. Beast for stealing. I hope it's not a clickbait, or else this entire video is going to be you know, ruined. So keeping that aside, Lazar Beam hit my mind immediately. Where did I see this name? I'm sure he's a popular gamer, YouTuber, whatsoever. Because if you go through the comments, seems like he has a lot of followers. I love Lazar. The collab is awesome. Um, I love Mike Mann, the fact, Lazar, blah, blah, blah. George is hilarious. I feel like Logan really needs his guests heard. Whatsoever, right? It's a lot of fans of Lazar Beam. And thank God there's <laughs> timestamps. I don't want to play this entire video. So I just want to play the Mr. Beast part over here. Mr. Beast versus Logan Paul. All right. And also there's another one here. It says Mr. Beast is stealing from everyone. Fair, like I still right? So I'm going to be playing this real quick. But before I do that, where did I see this Lazar Beam? What do, the, what do these three people, individuals have in common? Can you guess? Super Farm, Elliot Trace, keeping Logan Paul aside, he has his own crypto zoo and shenanigan, obviously, scammer, grifting. Keeping that aside, Lazar Beam and Mr. Beast, Super Farm, Elliot. So those of you have no idea, absolute clueless, Super Farm, all right? So I covered Super Farm about two years ago. I have an entire playlist on my crypto channel about Super Farm being the, one of the biggest scam grifting in this space, all right? I've covered this since the beginning. Digging deep into Super Farm, it's two hours long video, all right? Just, just go from the beginning, you can see the step-by-step -step exactly what happened. All right, no white paper whatsoever. Pre-idea was rigged, insider dumps, VC dumps. All right, so how is it possible? All right, so where I'm going with this, Lazar Beam, Mr. Beast Park, they were in involved in a scam? Well, to some extent. And Mr. Beast, well, he was young, dude. This was two years ago. So probably he made some mistakes, clearly, or maybe he has some explanation to do. I'll leave it to him. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly right now. All right, you, you ready? Because I don't want to be like, oh, you know what? I'm just making things up and uh, there's no proof. There's a proof right there. So let me show you something real quick. All right. But first, I want to be playing this video real quick just to want to see what Lazar Beam is talking about. Or is he being a hypocrite? Lazar Beam and um, uh, Logan Paul teamed up to go against Mr. Beast. Hypocrites? Two scammers, grifters are going against Mr. Beast? Let's actually play the video first. All right. So it's like most of the time I see or I'm like browsing. No idea. So I have been, I keep trying. <laughs> I keep trying to do it. So the 1,200 videos I've 1,000. No way. It's Where's not Mr. Beast? Me. Stuff. I'm just not good. Is that the more mental? <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, do you not? Yeah, there was no actual guidance, any of that. What is he doing? It's like, I realized on day for me, I'm going to, I'll probably have like, what is he doing? Videos, and then he I literally said, talk about, he says Mr. Beast, got... where is Mr. Beast? Talking about editing and you're promoting Prime and what? So, that's what <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's your, no, maybe, maybe that. Oh, oh Mr. Beast. Okay. Well, because I'm also, I know. Oh, that's important. Oh, same. He's still hating. He's still hating. All right. So see, so. Literally, that's a clickbait. He literally, Logan Paul called Mr. Beast the king. So yeah. All right. I thought like he was calling out Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is fine. I didn't find any dirt beside that Super Farm shenanigan. Probably he made a mistake. He took, he shilled Mr. Super Farm once or gave, gave a shout out and charged some money. Keeping that aside, like I said, a lot of influencers, they take advantage of young influencers, big influencers, like, you know, old aged influencers, make sure they take advantage of the young ones by making them, you know, getting involved in some grifting or scamming unknowingly. Hey, man, you have like millions of followers. Would you shill Super Farm? Yeah, sure. $100,000. And they just do it without knowing that this is a scam. All right. So this guy literally didn't do anything about Super Farm. I'm going to be playing the last part real quick. It says Mr. Beast versus Logan sure. Paul. Oh, talking to Jack, you, you always like you done Bro, that. I was with all right. So they're all talking good about Mr. Beast. All right. Wow. You just ruined my video. But don't worry. It's not ruined yet. Let's not talk about the real deal. All right. So Super Farm. Zach XPD, Top Fizzilla, he's another guy, Detect, he has this on the list. Here's a thread on top 10 worst accounts to follow Crypto Trading Edition, all right? Crypto Banner, Crypto Burb, etc. Number six, Elio Trade. The, the name is important, all right? Because everything connects. Elio Trade's right there, okay? Now, coming to this, this some, some of you might say, oh, this is Photoshop. No, this is not Photoshop. I could have done a better work making it like more sharp and stuff. So one of the, um, if you, so cutting to the chase, giving you a quick history, all right? I have, if you want to check out, like I said, I have an entire playlist on super farm and if that's not enough i have an entire mega thread on super farm all right it, over here it shows you everything step by step thousands of them all right look at this one elio trades screenshots videos he blocked me reasoning the dates red flags from the beginning entire on-chain evidences but other people as well here literally this guy says how elio trades deleted his video 
and after shilling so many tokens, etc. Right? You can look at this. This is Super Farm. It went up to crazy amount of dollars. Like it did thousand X's. All right. And uh, I'm coming to that in a second. Zach XPD covered it right here. Zach XPD literally says, don't tell me he's a scammer too. Look, all right. This was posted about a year ago. All right. So entire thread, phase, Elio Trade partnered with phase, banks. Then over here, you have entire thread that shows with videos, literally shows you what he did. Okay. So if you're interested, feel free to play. And these are, these were posted by people, real people, not just me. There's an entire thread on Reddit over here, Tron Chat. This was Elio Trey's previous, you know, like years ago. <laughs> it was his, one of his projects which didn't even work. It failed. If you go to the comment, look, where is it now? It disappeared. Had invested 11,000 tokens on it. Are no longer in my account. Four years ago. Doesn't exist. All right. So now without wasting your time, I had to tell you about Elio Trades first. Now be clear that he's a grifter. He's a scammer. He still exists. Creating videos. Scamming. Right. Now let's see how Lazar Beam and Mr. Beast relate. All right. So Elio Trades, when he came out with the super farm, he raised money. P-I-D-O, all right? So a lot of people, they got whitelist, all right? They won the white. Elio Trades, the, he saw that the, the token price significantly went up. So he decided to refund the whitelist people and keep the bags for himself and his insider. And that's one of the reasons you can see the price of Superfarm from $4, whatever, it dumped all the way. Because yeah, insiders, what, what, what do you expect? Thousand excess, that's how they made money, right? So some of these in, insiders, basically some of these whitelist winners, they saw my video and they reached out to me two years ago, all right? I told you people forget that. So they reached out to me and they told me, hey man, I saw your video. And they'll trade this guy's dirty. And look, and one guy shared a screenshot, okay? And one of the messages, I have a long messages. I did videos on this, all right? And matter of fact, this entire screenshot has been explained in one of these videos here. You can see this uh, over here, lead chat, okay? Over here, it says busted, explains every lead chat six months ago, okay? So if you look at this, Elio Trades actually went live once and he forgot to close his Twitter account and he exposed his chat. So if you look at it, I'm just gonna try to make sense out of it, okay? And I'm gonna give you a full screen real quick. PWO Latchlin, okay, YouTube, Mr. Beast is here, okay? You can see this, Mr. Beast is here. Then we have this guy, Lazar Beam is right here. Then we have Joey, Jacob Whitman, Crypto. So keeping everything aside, I just wanna see Mr. Beast, Lazar Beam, and PWO Latchlin is probably a YouTuber, but I can see some of the writing here. If you pay attention, it says Mr. Beast, four hours ago. So we can do this 100K. Thing is that, dot, 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 that's what I can read. Okay, so 100K, $100,000, we can do $100,000. Maybe it's a promo they're dealing, talking about that he's going to give a shout out and he's going to get paid $100,000, okay? Then OX Infinitum, okay, straight shot to $400 plus. Lazar Beam here. Let's talk about Lazar. That's the main purpose, right? Sir, no problem, whatever that means, okay? Joey, all right. So as soon as you're ready, Jacob Whitman, I believe he's a lawyer who was fighting for Elliot Trade and yeah, going against the whitelist winner. And the whitelist winners, several of them, they actually tried to fight against it, but... They couldn't because you know how crypto works, right? So on top of this, if you look at this, this group, there's a group called Crypto. And I can see the face, Mr. Beast, Lazar. So I believe they had a group. And you can see fresh, lovely morning, everything still. So they had a group, crypto group years ago, all right? Now, let's do some quick reading, okay? Mr. Beast, check this out. This tweet was deleted by the tweet author. That is Elio Trades, who blocked me. You can see this, replying, Superverse. So Super Firm, Elio Trades, changed the name to Superverse now. If you're not aware, I've done a video said uh, Elio Trades re is relaunching the scam. Okay, so Superverse, Superfarm DAO, then we have burnt banks. You see this? It's very clear, right? I mean, I'm not making anything up. You can see Mr. Beast has replied, but the tweet doesn't exist. This tweet was deleted by the tweet author, right? But you can see Lazar Beam, Ice, replying to what? Superfarm DAO, Superfarm DAO, they, they shut down. They changed it to Superfarm, Superverse DAO, right? And then there's burnt banks to whoever. So this is one, one instance. They, have, they are connected, clearly. And you can see this tweet deleted, right? And I can't see them. You're unable to view this tweet because this account owner limits who can, because Elio Trades blocked. And you can see some of these, um, all of these people showing as in, oh yes, all ice. That, and look at the date, March 3rd, 2021. One instance, second instance, all right? Feb 15, 2021. The dates are important because that's when they launched. You get the point? So Lazar Bean probably was a part of Superfarm pre-IDO. He was a part of, all right? He got a decent amount of uh, tokens. Why? Because again, over here, Latchland, if you see here, right, Lashlin, it says, hey, man, I got some super with your dot, dot, dot. So he also bought super, probably the super token, assuming. So I showed you one instance. This is the second. This is the first one, right? Close it. Second instance, Elio Trades, right? Look at this. Replying to Elio Trade, who blocked me. Always, whatever that means, bless me with knowledge, boss. Lazar Beam is calling Elio Trades a boss, who is a verified scammer. He's calling him a boss. 
bless me with knowledge, Bob. All right. I remember seeing Solana at 20, many regrets. Okay. Yes, this hurts. Whatever that is, because I can see the original video. All right. So kind of that's guaranteed that Lazar was a connect. He was connected to Super Farm to some extent. Right. Third, Mr. Beast again here. Super question mark. Look at the views. Right. This was uh, May 12, 2021, quite some times back, and he was replying to Elio Train. Super. Right. So. 100% guaranteed that they're somehow connected, okay? It's not me saying, it's just them. And I'm putting this out there before they delete them. They already did. Elutra has actually deleted all of the tweets and some of the tweets actually you can find it. Then I wanted to find out another example, this guy, Joey. I was like, you know what? We found Lazar Beam, we found Mr. Beast. PWR, I couldn't locate any, maybe deleted stuff. But um, Joey is right here. So I tried to find Joey and guess what? Joey, GMC, Feb 22nd, 2021. February, that's, that date is important because that's the time when Super Farm was launched. All right, so these guys were a part of it somehow. So you can see, Polka, so it's been like five minutes Super Farm. Check this out. This is a bit bigger. Look at this one, right? What does it say? Do you need yourself? Super Farm is the next big thing. Do you want to associate, what? Want association with only few brands here and there, all of them? Easy choice for me, Super Farm. Go find out where is Super Farm right now. It has no white paper. Super Farm doesn't exist. It has become super worse now. So you see what it is. People don't remember this, but these, this happened. Amigo, all right? So this is, this is real. Lazar Beam, Elio Trade. Etc. Etc. This is this is real. Zach Speedy Elliot Trace. This is really real. This is real. Crypto Zoo is real. This Elliot Trace thing is real. You understand what I'm saying? So now you make your decision and figure out. Hey Lazar. So this is how I want to end. Let's end this with a positive note in a way, right? Think about this for a second. If you're a fan of Lazar, maybe Lazar Beam was innocent and he had no idea about Elliot Trace. Okay, assuming because clearly. I talked about Mr. Beast several times. And if you notice, I said, I couldn't find any dirt about Mr. Beast, like on Mr. Beast, beside this one thing, which I'm not too sure. Maybe he made a mistake because there are big influencers, like, you know, old influencers who know the game so well, they literally can take advantage of all the young, like I show speed. Remember? Metaverse, paradox, metaverse. Yeah, he had no idea. He, got, he, he fell for it. He was offered millions of dollars. So I feel Mr. Beast was offered $100,000 to give a shout out. And Mr. Beast was also following Super Farm in the beginning, but now he does. Okay, this is all real. I don't know how many people know this. So keeping Mr. Beast aside, Lazar Beam, hey, if you're watching this, amigo, or if, you, if you're his fan, maybe ask him, what happened to your Elio Trades boss? Like this guy scammed millions of dollars. You still don't understand that he scammed. Like you really want me to like put out, how many videos do you want me to put out? Or what do you want to see? Like just Google, just see what, what's out there. You really, you're telling me Zach Expedi is lying about this thing? He literally just, it's out there. All right. So anyways, I wanted to keep this straight to the point and the whole space is dirty <laughs> every time. And I wasn't, uh, I, I'll say, I'd said this earlier on that I don't come across, you know, I don't dig for videos like this. I had no intention to come and talk about Lazar Beam. I guess the universe wants me to do, it puts me, you know, it puts me in front of certain content at certain time. And I'm like, hold on, what the hell is this? Okay. I guess this is what the universe wants me to do. Show them what exactly. So I hope you found something useful because most of the people in the comments will either be like, no, this is not, this is a fake shit. This is a fake screenshot. Lazar meme. No, he's an innocent guy. He's not calling a bug. So take it easy and I'll see you in the next video.